in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit what pops up for your order numbers. And as I say in most of my videos, if something has changed where what I am saying in this tutorial is not lining up with how your Shopify looks, like let's say your Shopify has updated, please let me know down in the comments. If Shopify has updated, I will try to make an updated video. If I make an updated video, it will be in the description or the comment section of this video. Okay, so we are going to go over how to change what your order number looks like for your orders. You may want to do this if you're a new store and you just want to make it not look look like it's a new store because other Shopify businesses may know, you know, if you have order 1001, that does mean your first order. So in order to change it, we're going to go down into the settings down in the bottom left corner. We'll click that. Okay, this is kind of how the page will look when it first loads. You will scroll down to the bottom of this page. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to black out any information I want private. Okay, it actually looks like all the private information is up top, so we're good. So right down here, the order ID format is where you're going to want to go in order to change how that order number will show up. So it's saying right here, your order ID will appear as 1001 you know, number 1002, number 1003. So that's how every Shopify store would start unless it is changed. So if you wanted to, you can, you can delete the, the number sign um, or the number symbol, or you could add uh, numbers or letters in front of this. And you could probably add other symbols. So let's say we want it to do, I want to put CCS for cross stitching supplies. And then let's say I want to add a 10. It just makes that number look bigger. And then at the end, we could even add another 10 or something. If someone's just looking at that, they wouldn't know to pick out this 1001. Now you can't really edit that 1001, the 1002, you know, that's just gonna count up by one. But now it is in the middle of this other combination. Now reasons why you might wanna do this is just if you wanna hide that you're a newer store, I don't think it really matters that much as long as you provide a good service. You know, someone has already ordered, so I don't think they're gonna see the order number and necessarily panic. And other reasons you might wanna do this, but let's say you have different businesses and you just wanna help the stuff to not get mixed up, or you wanna be able to look at that order number and easily identify which business the order form goes to or the packing slip goes to. That might be another reason why this would help. And make sure if you do change anything and you want to keep it, make sure you hit that save button. And that is all I have for this video. Changing the order number is pretty easy actually. 